on this episode of The World's Strictest Parents. The stuff is itchy. If you complain, you're going to have to get this whole area. Meet the Bledsoe's from Nebraska. See all those black spots right there? I want all those gone. An ambitious family. Try to increase your distance if it's all about goal setting. Who practice what they preach. You guys, get back in here. Start pulling some of that grass right there. For the next week, they'll take in two spoiled teens. Don't stand in the way of my game. With an attitude. I'm not going to do the bathroom! But can the Bledsoe stand strong? It's not working. You were hoping that you broke it? Oh, yeah. And stop the teen's defiance? Come on, let's move it. I'm Sarah. I'm 16 years old, and I'm from Anaheim, California. Sarah, you need to clean your room. I can't freaking stand here in your mouth. You just keep talking and talking. I don't want to do it. Me and Sarah fight every single day. You need to clean the bathroom. I'm not going to do the bathroom! Have you ever seen a pretty girl clean? No. I don't know how I came out looking so good when she looks like that. Nobody's just going to have things to you in life. This is like all you do. So what kind of job are you going to have where you can afford to buy all those purses? First of all, I'm either going to model or my husband's going to do it for me. She thinks that she can sweet talk her way out of anything. I'm not going to school. And if you send me, there's going to be a humongous problem. Sarah's been expelled from school because she get in, gets into fights. Check your boyfriend. Sarah doesn't change. I don't know what my next step's going to be. Sarah, what's wrong with you? First I'm not going to let anybody step all over me. OK, if they want to talk, they're going to get something back from it. I feel like I'm failing. My name's Peyton. I'm 16, and I'm from Gallatin, Tennessee. Peyton? What? Don't stand in the way of my game, Mom. I'm so disappointed in him when he talks back to me. Don't you turn that game off. My mom's always nagging at me when I'm trying to play video games, trying to get me to do chores and stuff. This detention says you were disrupting class repeatedly. School's stupid. Just leave me alone. Let me do whatever I want to do. My brother's 19, and he goes to a really good school, and he's just the perfect child. Hey, Bryant, how's school going? It's going pretty good. Maybe Peyton will get to college someday. <laughs> good one. I always win in arguments with my mom because she has no way to control me. Come do your homework. No, I, no, I don't feel like it right now. Peyton. Just leave me alone. It breaks my heart that he's choosing the wrong path right now. I absolutely do not think this family is going to change me whatsoever. I love who I am, and that's how it's going to stay. I hope he learns discipline, and I hope he has a much better attitude when I see him. Hopefully the family's not crazy or trying to get me to do too much stuff. My name is Jeff Bledsoe. I live in Blair, Nebraska, along with my wife, Maria, and my daughters, Courtney, Miranda, Haley, Emily, and my one son, Jared. You guys, get back in here. Start pulling some of that grass right there. Jeff is a gentle giant. Doesn't lose his temper, doesn't lose his cool. But when he does speak up, the kids listen. See all those black spots right there? I want all those gone. You need to scrub it. I'm kind of more the bulldog, you would say. Give me the phone now. Gosh darn it, give it to me. I was born breached, and my right arm was paralyzed. As an infant, trying to crawl on an arm like that, that probably gave me more of a push, a drive. Today's our last work day, so let's get to it. We own about 18 acres of land. There's mowing to be done, corn cutting, weed pulling. It's just a never ending. Tomorrow, when we open up, what can be real important, you guys stay at your spot. It's not social hours. If we didn't do something that my parents asked us to do, we would definitely get a boatload of more chores on top of that. Did you put straw inside there? Yeah. Yep. Go check. Okay. Laziness is not acceptable here. This stuff is itchy. If you complain, you're going to get this whole area. If I could tell the teens one thing, it'd definitely be don't use any foul language. If we even say jerk, they will just put down the hammer. OK, that was crooked, guys. Just be expected to work. Work very hard. We still got tons to do. What's 
Okay. Sarah. Peyton. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I think Peyton thinks that I'm hot, of course, and if not, then he's probably gay. What do you get in trouble mostly for? Just being disrespectful to teachers and interrupting class. But you, you get in trouble a lot. Yeah, but I get in trouble for, like, fighting. I just, I never get along with girls. They're holding hands. They're such losers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they just waved to us. They're just a bunch of squares, just like corny people. The two kids stepped out. First, we saw Sarah. We thought she didn't dress too modestly. Hi. Welcome, Welcome. to the Bledsoe family. I'm Jeff. Peyton. Peyton's kind of hard to read him because he, he just has the same stare on his face. You don't know if he's. If he's an angry person or if he's just like real calm. I'm Maria. Hi. Sarah. Hi, everybody. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Sarah. Okay. Nice to meet you. I felt strongly that Sarah and I were probably going to clash. I saw it in the driveway, just her cockiness and the way she carried herself. Bring your bags over here on our porch, All show right. you around outside. We uh, show and raise Rottweilers. We've been doing that for like 25 years. I don't like animals, they're just kind of dirty to me. Why would you want to take care of something that licks its own ass? Like, that's disgusting. We'll show you the big guys. <laughs> I can guarantee you there is nothing better than a dog coming up, snuggling up on your lap. I won't be caught dead touching those dogs. Every day we come out here, we feed them, we clean out their water dishes. But I better not have to be cleaning up any of their poop. OK, well, let's go ahead and go up to the house now. Well, let's go up here and have a seat. We can kind of get to know each other. Our philosophy as far as parenting is to raise the kids to understand what's expected of them. We do have rules for our, our kids and our family. Cursing, we don't allow any of the kids to do that. On the cursing, I know you know you've made a little bit of a base. You know, it really makes it look cheap. I'm definitely gonna break this cursing rule and I'm gonna do it in front of her little boy just to piss her off. Nobody in our family is lazy. We all do our chores. If you do act out or if you lie to us, then the chores are worse. When you're in this house, when you walk through those doors, those are the rules we expect you to follow. If you have issues, we will lay the law down. The mom can try and lay down the law, but I'm not going to go for it. She can't control me. You think you're all good to go with these rules and that, or? Not really. We're going to give each one of you guys a notebook and just maybe set some goals and just write them down. What if we don't have any goals? Do you have any dreams, like something that you want to do? I always grew pumpkins when I was growing up from the time I was like eight years old. So that was my goal, was to have a large pumpkin patch. And now I've met that goal. It's called Skinny Bones, Corn Maze, and Pumpkin Patch. What dad wants a pumpkin patch? Does that sound so stupid? We're all distance runners, and we're going to go just for an easy family run. I definitely felt like we had a challenge with Sarah and Peyton. Ladies first. The attitude thing was definitely going to be one of the biggest problems that we had to deal with. Hey, Bledsoe kids, are you guys all ready to go for a run? Yeah. Running teaches you motivation, goal setting, determination. So you guys excited about running? It's whatever. Yeah. I'm not surprised that they go running together because they're that kind of cheesy family that want to do every little thing together. You guys having fun? This hill is tough. I knew I had a challenge with Peyton, but it's not the distance you go, but it's how much effort you put into it. Running the very first day, I was not happy at all. We're going to go back and cheer them on. That's one thing we really do with running is encouraging each other on. Come on, just encourage him from right here. Because it's not called encouragement. Okay? I just feel like standing right here right now. No, let's go down there. When she refused to go and greet Peyton and just encourage him, that was basically her first trial. And she failed it. Even if you encourage him, it's not like he's going to move. I don't want to lie. I don't care about him. She thinks she has the authority over me. She's in for a rude awakening. We're going to head on back home now. Coming up. If you're not out here in three minutes. Sarah and Maria face off. Sorry, I can't hear you. Oh, you can hear me, baby. Rise and shine, guys. Time to get up. 
Time to wake up. Right. Oh, it's very really bright. But we gotta go do our dog chores. So I suggest you get up. Hey. I'm back at home when I'm sleeping. Nobody ever comes in my room that's crossing the line with me. Let's go. I made it a point to show him that it was. If you're not out here in three minutes, you will be doing the grossest chore you have ever imagined in your whole lifetime. It was very evident that she was going to move as slow as she wanted to. Sorry, I can't hear you. Oh, you can hear me, baby. Come on, let's move it. There's three piles that need to be put in the wheelbarrow and brought down to our burn pile. I know you can do it. You just need to apply yourself. I'm not sure there's any high expectations of Peyton at home. If he's not willing to work hard, then he doesn't have a very good future there. OK. Obviously, this is a problem with you being slow. So. I will now be in charge of this. What about third taking of yours? How would you feel about that? Bitch. You need to move just a little bit faster. You know, put some heart into it. It is freaking hot outside, and I'm not used to doing this kind of work. OK, I think that's it. Good job. Here's your shirt. Here you go. I like what I'm wearing. Put it on. Her clothing was inappropriate for the dog kennel. If you want to take this word off and just slip it on over, that's fine. I'm sorry that I look better than you, but that's what I want to wear. I want my back. OK, you know what? You're not going to sit there and talk like that. And you will get your makeup back, I guarantee it. When? As soon as I see a turnaround in your attitude, we got to get going. I'm counting three. If you're not up at the door with the shirt on over, you lost everything down in your bedroom, all your suitcases, everything. You issues, lady. I changed, but I wanted to kind of show her, like, she's not going to win this. OK, Sarah, this obviously is not working. OK, I'm co I was no, coming. No, I'm this, coming. No, you know, Let's go. Do you want to go clean okay. the dogs or not? Take it off, because you're not no princess okay, in here, OK? OK, we're going to clean, OK? You're not taking my stuff. OK. Put it away. It's not even on my okay. head anymore. Well, ditch the wand. Oh, let's go. Come on. What would you do at home if your mom said, Peyton, could you please clean the bathroom? I don't care if it's clean or not, so she does it. Your work ethic needs some help. But at home, everybody should do an equal share. If Jeff thinks he's going to teach me anything or make me work real hard, well, he's got another thing coming. That'll do. All right. It's all a bunch of bull to me. You need to step it up and speed it up, because we've got tons we got to get done. We're going to do this one first. This is BJ. Now you step in here, you scoop. She's a stranger in our home that's expected to do chores, just like any of our children. Raven, go attack it, OK? Raven, go on in there. I'm usually a tough girl. Like, I don't let anybody see me cry, because I just feel like it's weakness. <laughs> but I couldn't help it when I went out there. It was absolutely disgusting. No, Sarah. OK, Sarah. Listen to me. Now, are you scared of these dogs? I just or don't like dogs. You just don't like them? Gross. But you're not scared of them. It's just you don't like them. No, I just don't like them. OK. They're a live animal, and it's our responsibility to care for them. Come on. I knew if I didn't do it, then she wasn't going to give up. Oh, I just want to go home. Come on. It's not that bad. We got to brush him. My motivation was to get her over her self-centeredness and just being a drama queen. Say, kennel. You got to praise her now. Tell him, good boy. OK, thank you for helping me. Tonight, we've got two parties. And so you guys have got to really pitch in. So can I at least get your guys' commitment on this to just put on a smile? Do I hear a, a yes, Maria? 
Remember, I still have your makeup back at home. Yes, Maria. Thank you. OK, let's go for it, guys. OK, so she's going to give you guys these cards. And there's seven different punch stations. Mm -hmm. The goal is to get all seven of those punched. So I was assigned to work at a Sweet 16 party with Courtney. I was just, like, really bored. I wanted a break just to relax. Hey, Sarah. Can we go do a couple things over here? I look over, and there's Sarah trying to sleep. I'm kind of stuck. Come on, let's go. I really don't want somebody with that kind of attitude in front of our customers. Okay, we're going to start here. There's one area I didn't get cleaned up. We can start picking up bricks and or just throw them over there in the weeds. How long is that going to take? It's not sleeping time now. So the more you complain, the more there's going to be. We're in the middle of a party, and you're going to have me clean up bricks? I got a big brick pile back there. Yep. Her attitude caused this. She could be over there at the birthday party right now, having fun, serving these kids. But it was her choice to do this. This was her consequence. Grab the wood board and these sticks. I'm freaking done. No, you're not. I'm done. No. I don't want to be here anymore. I just feel super annoyed. I want to go home. Coming up. We're going to go help our neighbor next door. The teens are tasked with a selfless act. All I've done since I've gotten here is work and work and more work. But are they capable of kindness? This is ridiculous. You guys ever given a dog a bath before? We got to put this in high gear. That means fast, speedy. I don't have a high gear. Get to, oh, we'll, we'll get you one. Whoever's the first one over there gets the best dog. Whoever's the last one gets the worst. <laughs> Peyton, right here. Peyton, touch this. Hurry, touch this. I was eager to see more of a breakthrough with Sarah and Peyton as far as work ethic. All right. Let's get it. Let's go for that. All right. Her Who count. got it first? Yeah. Just that I did. OK. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good dog. Sure. When I first heard that we had to give the dogs a bath, I wasn't too excited, but I don't really have a problem with animals like Sarah does. All right. OK, now just guys splash him, get water on his back and that. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come a little closer, Sarah, Good so you boy. can see this. Good boy. I can see Talk it, to Sarah. Take this rug and some water over his back. Talk to him. Say, Good boy. Good, Good BJ. Boy. Yeah. I'll turn the hose on. You can rinse him off. All right. She had so much dread on her face. I could tell that she just wanted to go back in bed and, and hide under the covers. <laughs> oh. All right, Peyton. Good job. Good job. High five. High five. OK, I'll go get the next one there. Sarah, who's going to be your lucky dog? Sarah definitely uh, gave the impression, you know, she can't handle this. I think a lot of it was just kind of a front to get out of the tour. And I wasn't buying into it. OK, Sarah, this one's yours. I have a phobia of dogs. I can't be around them. No, you were fine yesterday. No, I was fine yesterday. Uh -huh. I saw you. Really? Yeah. OK, go put her in the water. Yeah, she's going to get in the water. She loves the water. Just give me the hose to spray with. Oh, my god. It was making me laugh to see Sarah just freak out about it. With two hands. After having to clean up their and having to, like, smell them, it's just nasty. That's not going to cut it. you got to sit there and scrub, OK? I didn't see him scrubbing. I'm not talking about pain. I'm talking about you right now. So just start scrubbing. I just did it. I'm going to let the dog loose, hold on to her here, and scrub while I turn on the hose. She's trying to be a drama queen. And I definitely wasn't giving her any ounce of being compassionate. You need to show an effort. Instead of just standing there like this, it was going to be much more difficult than what I ever, ever imagined. We just have a few things left, and then you can shower. OK, everybody, we're going to go help our neighbor next door, Lauren. He had to have a bunch of surgeries, so 
We help him out, and he's, he's really thankful, so. OK, let's head over there. That is a nice thing to do, but I just don't really do that, so I didn't want to go. Hey, Lauren, how are you doing? Good. Looking good. Thanks. Hey, Lauren. I was hoping the kids would learn the lesson of giving without expecting anything back. You'll start it. You'll have to slow. That's thick grass. You'll have to slowly go around it. How much of this is there? What's that? How much of it is there? Oh, uh, we're going to do this for a while. OK, when I tell you to, pull that. I feel like lawn work is guys' work. Like, how are you going to get a girl to go out there and like mow the lawns? Like, it's just not appropriate. It's not right. It's ridiculous. All I've done since I've gotten here is work and work and more work, and I'm tired of it. Does it break easily? The mower? No. That's a good mower. I've had that for a while. So my plan was to break the damn thing. Is it broken? No, it's fine. You got to pull it out now. You were hoping that you broke it? Oh, yeah. Not so fast. Pull it back up. It's not working. It's working fine. If you kill it like that intentionally again, I'm going to keep adding trees to it. How many trees do we have? I'm not going to give you a number. It could change at any time according to your attitude. Sarah, she wants to fight you. She wants to just do everything to go against you. So if I have a better attitude, you'll take them off? Let's just get going, not worry about it. She just wanted to do the bare minimum, and that was it. I, I let her know, this isn't going to happen anymore. At first, I didn't feel that great about doing this work for Lauren. Place looks so much better. We'll have it looking good for you. Yeah. But when I saw how grateful he was, that really made it all worth it. And I actually did feel good about helping somebody. OK, you guys, we're going to round this up um, so we can get going. I think is a very valuable lesson in serving others without getting anything in return. Thank you again. I, I sure appreciate it. I didn't feel good whatsoever. I didn't care. Take care. Coming up. Right now, I can't even say I will miss you. Sarah's world starts to crumble. Can I hug you right now? It's about time we did this, huh? I just got done saying this is a guy's chore. No. What are we doing out this here? This is girl stuff, too. Hey, Peyton, can you come with me mm -hmm. in the house for a little bit? Sure. Peyton got a letter from his mom, and I hope that Peyton will actually listen to some of the things his mom says. I thought it was good at first to hear from my mom, and I was kind of excited and a little nervous, too. Dear Peyton, I miss you so much. I worry that you are choosing the wrong path in some areas, such as being disrespectful at school and not putting forth effort in your school work. Until recently, you have always been such a sweet, lovable boy. Where did that boy go? I hope you don't feel that Bryant is the favorite son, because I love you both equally. You both have different strengths that make you special and unique, and I don't want to ever compare the two of you. I just want you to know that I love you to the moon and back, Mom. I can tell there's some areas there that's just breaking her heart. With your brother, do you feel that way? Like he's kind of the, the favorite one? It seems that way a lot of times, because he's always done good in school and got into a great college. And I think he gets most of the attention a lot of the time. I could tell he felt bad, and he, and he felt a little bit embarrassed about some of the things his mom said. I, th I think one thing is maybe you've set your bar too low. 
and you need to set your bar way up here with your brother or maybe even higher. All you have to do is apply yourself. So you just need to kick it into gear, get that strong work ethic going. You're gonna have a lot going for you. I know you can still be thoughtful to your mom and respect her. She wants the best for you, but she can just see it slipping away. You can be that boy again. When I read the letter, it was hurtful. I guess looking at it now, a lot of it was true about me. Thanks for reading that to me, Peyton. I appreciate it. Thank you. I love my mom a lot, and I didn't have any idea that she was so upset about it this whole time. I can't remember last time that Jeff could walk under this tree. This looks good, Sarah. Can you um, come with me up to the house for a second? I went to bring Sarah her mom's letter. I was anxious to hear what the letter said, to just kind of compare it to her problems that I had analyzed in the past few days. I've got something for you here, a letter from your mom. I really wanted to hear from her because I've just been missing her. But I was scared at the same time because we didn't leave on good terms whatsoever. Sarah, I'm so tired and fed up with your attitude and disrespectful behavior. I hope there's a chance for you to change. You really do think you're a princess. I cannot take another day of this fighting. Take this time to really see your ugly attitude for what it is, ugly. I did not raise you to be this way. Right now, I can't even say I will miss you because I'm so sick and tired of it. You're smart, creative, athletic. You have an endless potential. Take a good look at your future, the way you're going now. It doesn't look bright. I believe you can change. You know my heart loves you and no bomb. Can I hug you right now? Wow, a mom writing that to her own daughter that she wasn't even going to miss her. She's at the end of the rope. That's her way of saying, you know, enough's enough, stop. I know I'm not an easy person to deal with. I want you to know that, you know, with us, um, you're strong-willed, and I'm definitely strong-willed, too. Yeah. And I know you really were struggling. But um, I, I love you like a daughter. So. Thank you. OK. OK. I didn't really realize it was that bad to where she wouldn't miss me. Like, I don't want anybody to feel that way. I think we can get a pretty good view up here. Yeah. One thing I notice about Peyton is when he's working, he's just doing the bare minimum to get by. So I wanted to help Peyton a little bit, show him I set goals and I achieved them. The reason I invited you out here, kind of look out at the the corn maze I have, pumpkin patch over there. This was kind of my dream since I was little. So I, I'm pretty much living my dream. And I, the way I did that was by setting my goals. Do you have any thoughts about the future? What would be like, just say like a one year goal? I guess maybe get a job and start getting some money. Have you written down any goals in your notebook at all? Not yet. Not yet? He needs to set his goals right now so he can start planning for the future. If he's not planning right now, he's going to be way behind. Well, Peyton, in your, in your mom's letter, she mentioned a couple of things I noticed, that when you were young, she was so proud of you. She told all of her friends how polite you were and what a good boy you were. And, and your, your mom seems really disappointed, and, and it's really hurting her in her heart. And what, what do you think caused that to turn around like that? I'm not really sure. 
maybe I never thought that I could do as much as my brother's done. So there really wasn't a, a whole lot of point to do it. I do get jealous of him at times. But maybe, maybe if I worked hard enough, I wouldn't have to be jealous of him anymore. And I could have the things that he has. Right. I know you can do it, Peyton. Yeah. Just have confidence in yourself. I honestly want to try now. I want to make her proud and make her happy like I did when I was a kid. Throughout this week, I've just been wanting to ignore the things that Jeff has been trying to say to me. She would be so proud of you if you did something like that. But I think in the cornfield today, I kind of learned some things from what he was saying. And I listened, and I stood back, and I heard what he had to say. And I agree with it. And I actually think he's right this time. OK, let's go, Peyton. All right. Maybe later we'll go in the woods and show you our path and our trail. I just wanted a quiet moment with Sarah to kind of go over her notebook that we gave her. OK, so can you show me what you have for your goals, what you've done this week? And Yeah. I never once saw her with her journal. In life, you have to be goal-oriented, but they ever heard of anything as far as setting goals. Goal for my life, do good in school this year and the rest of my high school years. Go to college, study to become a pharmacist. I saw a full page of notes written down. I was like, wow. Become a prettier person on the inside. Don't be so lazy. Stop being so selfish. Enough with the attitude. Yeah. So you think you've had an attitude? Yeah, I, I could admit that. <laughs> this to me was very shocking, but yet exciting. She did not have anything in there about marrying rich. It didn't seem shallow or superficial, but this was real stuff. This was genuine. Absence? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Save yeah. it for my husband. That is huge. I'm sure you didn't think that, but that actually does really mean a lot to me. I don't know if you've like noticed my ring, but mm -hmm. I have a promise yeah, ring. Yeah, a purity ring. Yeah, and like, I mean, that's like a really big deal to me, even though I've been like, kind of being bad and just not doing my own thing, like that still has stayed strong with me. Like, I won't change that for anybody. You know, um, Well, being a mother of four girls, that's real big. Yeah. You know, and that was my impression of you, and I hate admitting that. Yeah. But that's definitely something that, you know, you should save. Yeah. Really, this blows me away, this whole notebook, because I wasn't expecting this. No. I thought you'd have two sentences written down. No. I thought I'd be modeling and find a rich husband. Yeah, that's kind of the plan in the beginning. This definitely went beyond my expectations. Yeah. You, you blew me away. Yeah. I kind of open up to Maria. I've always just had that wall, and nobody has been able to break that wall. You did an incredible job. Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. This family has completely just torn it down, and that just that shocks me. Our goal for tonight's run is to go down there all the way to the top of that hill. Just go and just try to increase your distance each time. Come on. Let's go. go. As the week's gone on, I've learned a lot. I wasn't going down the right path. Woohoo! Go Peyton! <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> this whole experience, I've really had to dig deep inside of me. And I'm kind of grateful in a way. It feels good that I'm going to be able to like change the way I am. The first day, there's no way you guys could have made this far. Oh, yeah. Do you see the improvement that, that you guys have so made? So far, yes. I saw Peyton's motivation take one big step here forward. Sarah, I think she's a new person. She'll look at others differently now. Good job. Coming up. I just feel like you and Dad like Brian a lot more than me. When the parents arrive, emotions run high. Well, Sarah, I just heard that your mom's on the way. You excited? Yeah. So go down right now. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Go okay. ahead. I'm just, I'm super excited to go home. I just want to see my mom so bad, like, can't handle it. 
Then the feeding time. Mommy. There you go, guys. Go on. Hey, Peyton. I just heard your mom's about 20 minutes away. All right. So it's time to get packed and, and just be prepared. Sure. All right. All right, I let's like go get that. Sir. <laughs> I'm pretty nervous about seeing my mom. I don't really know what she's going to think. I'm so excited to see Peyton. I hope he learns some things about hard work. I think you might have a few things that were bothering you that your mom has no idea about. And if you could just bring those up to her, just let her know that. Yep. All right, she's here. Peyton. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good. Missed you. Missed you. He seemed like he was standing straighter and taller and seemed more confident in himself. So what have you been doing? Work. Work? <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yeah. We do expect everyone in our family to do chores. I, I know your mom needs, needs help at home. You've got to just reach your potential because you, you have so many things going for you. Yeah, I guess sometimes I just feel like you and Dad like Brian a lot more than me. You'd rather talk to him and see how he's doing and see what's going on in his life instead of talk to me and hang out with me and give me the attention. I love you equally. You're both my children. Yeah, I kind of learned that hopefully I can work and I can make you proud so that way you'll want to point out my achievements and the things I've done just like him. That'd be wonderful. Peyton seems like he's really going to try this time. Right. Thanks for everything, Jeff. And hopefully stick to it. <laughs> Thanks for letting me stay. Oh, anytime. Uh, he's got good moral qualities, and, and now I think he's got a good work ethic. If he continues that, he, he can go a long ways. All right, well, thanks right, again, we'll everybody. See you. Thank you. Bye, Bye. guys. Have a Bye. safe drive. I hope that I can go back and, and really make the changes that I've learned here and, and start doing the right thing. I'm so excited to see you. I missed you a lot. Hopefully, I can help you out more once we get back. That would be wonderful. I'm anxious to see her. Um, but at the same time, I don't want it to be like it was before. OK. So how do you think your whole experience went here, Sarah? I want to apologize for the way I was acting with you guys. You know, that wasn't right. You guys opened your house to me, and it was really wrong with me. I hope I showed you at the end that I do really appreciate you and, you know, thank you for helping me because I definitely needed help. Oh my gosh, I have seen you so long, I miss you. She came running out. Um, it was kind of like when she was little. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I missed you so much. Yeah? yeah. Okay. You're pretty sure. <laughs> to see my mom today was just like such a relief. That was what I was waiting for this whole time, and it was definitely way better than what I expected. Hi. Glad to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm I was hoping Sarah was ready to make some apologies to her mom for the way she had been treating her in the past. When we got Sarah, we really weren't sure what to expect. And I was like, this poor mom. You're going to be surprised on this whole thing. No, I just need to come away with what the difference is between what we do at home and what they do so that we can continue that, you know what yeah. I mean? So that that doesn't, you don't go back into the same habits. I just want to let you know that's not your fault for the way I'm, I am. You taught us, like, which way we're supposed to go, and, and you taught us good morals. It's just me, you know, I struggled with myself. It had nothing to do with you. I think you're... You're a wonderful mom, and you did a good job with this. And I'm sorry, and I, I love you. Okay. Thank you. She made such a transformation. So for her to make the turn that she did was so rewarding, just as a parent. 
Well, I'm really glad that we had the opportunity to do this. Yeah. All right, let's go grab your luggage. It just um, made me feel like this is what I've been wanting for so long from her. Well, we want to give you guys a hug. Thank you. <laughs> I'll even pet Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> I think before she was living in a fantasy world. By Maria. <laughs> Thank you. We helped her come down to reality. Thank you. You're welcome. She says thank you a lot. <laughs> when I first got here, I was just stuck in my way thinking I was better than everybody else. I realized I'm not better than everybody else. I hope our relationship can be better. I'm really hoping for that, so. Another hug. <laughs> Love you, Sarah.